everything you need to know about responsive search ads in three minutes or less. I'm Jill Saskin-Gales, a Google Ads coach, and RSAs have some pretty finicky things you need to know if you want to get the best results from your search campaigns. Long gone are the days where you can just give Google a headline, a description, and boom, you're ready to go. When you create an RSA, there are a few required things and then a lot of optional things. You must have a final URL, which is the place on your website you want people to go when they click on your ad. You must have at least three headlines and up to 15. I generally recommend having about 10. And then you must have at least two descriptions. You can have up to four. I generally find two or three is sufficient. Each headline can have up to 30 characters. Each description can have up to 90 characters. You can also have up to two optional display paths, 15 characters each. And these are not the same thing as your final URL. They just give a signal to users of what part of your website they may land on if they click on your ad. As you're creating your responsive search ad, you'll notice a blue bar at the top that tells you your ad strength. Even Google clearly states that your ad strength itself does not affect campaign performance. Ad strength is based on three best practices for RSAs. Include your keywords and your headlines and descriptions. Have enough different headlines and descriptions, and you want your headlines and descriptions to be unique. Consider this a helpful guide, not a be-all end-all. Here are five more things I want you to know to get the best results from your RSAs. First, you only need one RSA per ad group. You can have up to three, but one is plenty. Second, if you want to pin certain headlines or descriptions to ensure they only show in a certain place, it will ding your ad strength, but it may be worth it to you if there is a key message you need to make sure gets across, either for legal reasons or just for ad performance reasons. Pin a headline to H1 or H2 or pin a description to description one to ensure it shows. Third, a great trick to use to improve the relevance of your ads is something called dynamic insertion or ad customizers. You have the opportunity to insert your keywords, the user's location, or a countdown into the actual text of your ad using these customizers. Highly recommend. Four, your headlines may show as part of your description and they may show as site links. So be aware of that. And last but not least, to know how your RSA is performing, you're going to want to look at your asset level reporting. My recommendation is unless each individual asset has at least 100 clicks, it's too early to evaluate click-through rate. And if each individual asset does not yet have 100 conversions, it's too early to evaluate CPA or conversion rate. While responsive search ads are not the only kind of search ad in Google Ads, chances are if you're running a Google search campaign, you will be using an RSA. So I hope you found some of these tips useful today. Got another question about Google Ads? Let us know in the comments.